there, this is EK15 channel. I'm Flower and today I will provide you with the necessary information about the anatomy of a hurricane. We just passed the halfway mark in this year's hurricane season with three hurricanes drowning in the Atlantic Basin. Familiarize yourself with what makes a hurricane because you will be hearing these terms a lot. I the center of a storm. If you are in the eye, you can see the stadium effect where the clouds stack up like a stadium. It is the chemist part of the storm. You can even see blue sky during the day and stars at night. Eye wall. This is the most dangerous portion of the storm. This is the only area where you will find the winds that are the strength of a hurricane or maximum winds. Hurricane force winds. Hurricane force winds weaken the farther you move away from the eye. In just a few miles, you can drop a whole category. Tropical storm force winds. Tropical storm force winds usually are found throughout with a large swath of a hurricane, but they don't st stretch as far as the outer edge of the clouds. These winds are still dangerous, but are not the worst of the storm. Outer bands These are bands that spiral out of the storm like a pinwheel with water on it. These lines of storm are where tornadoes typically form. It is also where flooding can occur. These bands can create a training effect where it just continues to rain in the same place like we saw in Houston for the days after Harvey. For a hurricane to form, it needs warm water, damp air and winds that come together. And thanks to warm sea surface temperatures and a weak or non-existent El Nino, 2017 is shaping up to be an above normal hurricane season. And that is the end of my video today. If you like this, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your listening.